Hi fabric heads. I have a little project I wanted to share with you. It doesn't require a pattern and I'm also offering a free uh, downloadable embroidery design. It's for a linen crossover apron. I just love the style of this. It's easy, it's not dowdy, it's crisp, and I love this mint um, buffalo check. It feels kind of retro. For materials, I am actually using a tablecloth. I bought from Hobby Lobby, and um, but you could certainly use linen. In fact, I think it looks great in linen. Um, so you're going to need a piece that's 48 by 55 inches. I've also added the uh, metric here. Um, matching thread, uh, fabric pin, scissors, iron, ironing board, pins, and sewing machine. There is no pattern, but there is a cutting list. Uh, cut a 35 inch square. And if you want to make sure it's dead straight, you can do the rip and uh, snip and rip where you make you make a snap at where you want to cut and then you just rip it and with the grain of the fabric, I'll make sure that your fabric is straight. It's I did that with my fabric because it had obvious pattern, uh, but if you're using a solid or a busy pattern, I wouldn't bother with it. You also need to cut a facing, two straps, and a pocket. And because there is no pattern, this part's a little tricky, but it's super easy. Um, you're going to measure up from the folded edge, five and a half inches, and then from the salvage edges, or the, the two open edges, edges um, you're going to measure down 12 inches. Then draw an arc from the 12 inches to the 5 inches and then cut along that arc. That creates your armholes. Next you're going to make the straps. You're going to fold over a half inch on the long sides, then fold the straps in half lengthwise with wrong sides together and press, and then top stitch along both long edges. Repeat this for both straps. Next, you're going to prepare the armhole by folding under a, a half inch and then pressing it, folding it a half inch again and pressing it. I found this to be a little more stable than the first time when I tried it with the quarter inch. I like the half inch better. And I repeated the same for the other armhole and also for both sides of the apron. Next, you're going to prepare the uh, facing. So either finish one edge uh, of the long edge of the facing. You can pink it, serge it, or um, do a shirt tail hem on it. Um, I opted to just pink and fold it. Um, and you choose whatever works for you depending on how easily the fabric you're using will fray. And next, you're going to attach the straps uh, you can start, uh, I started by attaching the straps to the top of the apron and then crossing it and attaching it to the sides. Choose whichever way you want to do it. But I just made sure that um, I was sandwiching the straps between the apron and the facing. So with right sides together, uh, the facing and the apron, I inserted the top of the strap and sandwiched the strap in between the apron and the facing. Then I pinned it and I repeated for the other side. I stitched the facing to the apron and being sure uh, not to catch the top of the straps when I did that. And then I turned the facing uh, to the back and then I pressed it. Next, top stitch along the top of the facing and the apron. Next, top stitch around all armholes and sides of the apron to attach the back of the straps. Crisscross them in the back and then fold under and top stitch along the back of the apron. Next is the fun part. I added embroidery and some lettering on the pocket um, and I have a free embroidery for this design. If you like it, you're welcome to download it from my uh, website. There's a link in the description as well as all the instructions in case I'm going a little too fast um, there will be instructions or a link to instructions in the description of this video. After you've added your design uh, to prep the pocket, you're going to add a half inch hem on all four sides of the pocket. 
and then on the top you're going to press over another inch on the top side and then top stitch the top of the pocket to decide where you want to place your pocket put on your apron and pin in place by right, leaving the top open reinforce the edges of the pocket by back stitching especially on the corners of the top where you might have a lot of wear and tear I added an extra line of stitching um, not exactly center off center uh, so that it was big enough to hold a phone securely next is the hem the length of the hem is purely up to you um, I pressed up a half inch and then another two inches uh, pressed it and stitched it and that's it you're done with your new apron and I hope you enjoyed this project feel free to visit my brand new blog and download the Janome format Jeff embroidery file it's free and if you have any comments or feedback I really appreciate it give a thumbs up or subscribe 